So in your previous video, we have seen about your VPC. We understood what is your VPC. Now here I'm going to show you what are the benefits we have after using your VPC. So if you're using your VPC, it provides you a multiple connectivity option. Like you can connect different networks, different subnet, different classes, different VPC networks. So very first, you can directly connect to your internet or your public subnets as well. For example, now I have two different data centers located into two different regions into your Azure. You can directly connect it. As we know, all the particular infrastructure we are going to create into you this particular cloud will be accessible from anywhere from any of the users. So it should be accessible over the internet. So we can directly deploy the servers over the internet and we can provide the network connectivity that is your public network connectivity over here. Next we have that is internet using your network address translations that is for your private subnets. Now if you have created your private subnets where you have allowed your users to connect internally and then you want this particular users to connect over the internet. You can provide a NAT that is called as Network Address Translation. This particular NAT can be used to translate your public address into your private address as well as your private address into your public address. So we can also use a NAT protocol over here. Also we have a connect which can connect your secure network like your data centers directly over the internet. So if you want your some of your storages to manage your storages over the internet through my system, I can allow access to it over your VPC. Same way, you also have a connectivity option to connect two different VPCs network. Like for example, we have created two different infrastructures into two different VPCs. We can also connect it via using your VPC over here. Next, also we have a connectivity options to your data centers as well as your storages directly. So if I want my user to get access to my only storages, I can also allow those particular users to connect to my storages by defining some privileges to them. So these are the benefits of connecting multiple network and accessing multiple services via using your network. Same way we have a security. We have different security options into your networks. So we can provide a firewalls which is having a different name, like your security groups we can create, uh, policies we can create, so that we can provide security to our networks or the systems or the infrastructures or data centers we have connected over the network. So we can provide a network level security over here for subnets or the networks we create. It is very simple. As I said, everything, whatever generally you want to do is on some clicks. Just give few clicks and you are enabling a service, right? Same way here while creating a service, it is very easy to create that we are going to see into our next video. Also, we are going to see how it is reliable. As I said, you have a network, you are creating a network, you are creating a subnet and you have multiple backup plans. It's not like that you are running a single cable and connecting two different VPCs or two different networks. It's like you are going to create a virtual network, you'll be creating virtual switches, you will be having a number of backup plan in backend. So every time your network, your data, your storages and all the services are accessible over this particular network. Hence, it also provides you the reliability. So this is what about your VPC we have seen. Into next video, I'm going to show you how we can create your networks into your VPC and discuss about them.